football is life for me. Uh, I just love playing it. I enjoyed it as a fan. And my ambition always when I was younger was to be a professional football player, which I eventually became. And so I lived my dream and I experienced all sides of it uh, now as a media person. And I get to meet superstars, legends of the game, uh, Liverpool legends, Manchester United legends, Singapore legends as well. And just to meet them and have just a conversation that normal other people wouldn't have, I think that's just a blessing. My dad is a big football fan anyway. So, you know, when we started watching football, first at home, on TV, and then he brought me to my first game at the National Stadium. Old National Stadium, when you walk up the stairs and you see the green, that is like, wow. A lot of my friends are in football. I met my wife through football. I've been lucky enough to work in sport and in working in football as well. So I've been lucky. How I became a stadium announcer was completely by accident. And one day I was walking around the pitch testing the mic. And then I come back from testing the mic and my boss is like, uh, I think today you do the announcements. Wa? And I was like, huh? Yeah, that was five years ago and here I am now having done like a lot of football games and basketball and swimming and everything, yeah. I've maintained the modicum of professionalism, but I think it's when V. Sundramuthi and Fandi Ahmad and like Malay Awap, like when you call them and they like they have your number saved and they're like, hello Ravi, and you're like, I've made it in life. Because Malay Awap knows my name, you know. My family supported football. Uh, we supported the Lions, so we were very passionate about uh, the Lions. So um, when I saw this position uh, at that time, I was very excited and so I applied for the job. And so uh, that's how I got into football. Whether male or female, I think they, everyone loves football. Everyone loves to watch football. Uh, there's a lot of people who aspire to play football, to play football well. Uh, especially women's football because I feel that they are uh, they should be given the opportunity. I see the girls, the passion in the girls. Uh, they, they are, I mean, girls also love to see football, whether it's men or girls playing, and they also aspire to, to, to become national footballers one day. So I think they have the passion, and um, I, I, I feel that um, we should give them more opportunity to play. So the challenges that come with the job uh, uh, is uh, it, really very exciting, and I think it, you know, that's what keeps me going. In local football scene, I get to know quite a lot of things. Uh, like how the media works, how the player train. It's basically behind the scene that is not really that is uh, made known to the public. And definitely when I start, there's, uh, there's nobody know about it. So I must uh, go through the, the hard way or rather the conventional way to just spread the word around using emails, tell my friends on and off. Then also, uh, I see it as a duty, as a duty. So this is something what my friend, a friend of mine told me about that. It's a duty rather than more than a passion to do something like this, to keep people uh, take note, aware of local football.